Today we are going to have a look at the top 10 virtual pinball games that I like the most. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is Attack from Mars. Okay, let's get into some Attack from Mars. <laughs> oh, I love the voice acting. Pretty open sort of uh, table this one. It's um, you know like a lot of others that have a lot of things going on in the middle. And I noticed the performance on this table isn't great for some reason. It might actually be the back glass. I've been um, I've been playing a little bit with some of the back glass versions, and some of the newer ones are definitely better. But I noticed the ball's not quite as smooth as it has been on some of the other tables, which we should see. Oh wow, <laughs> that wasn't great. It's still warming up here. Of course, love the uh, the Cree lighting, which are lighting up around the side of this table because this thing goes. No, oh wow, this thing goes nuts when everything goes off. There's lights going on everywhere. It's just one of those things that really adds to the uh, to the game. All right, guys. Well, that was a, a quick look at Attack from Mars. We've got to get through all ten tables, so um, let's get on to another one. But you can see here how cool it is when all the lighting is is going. All right, let's check out the next one. So there you go, Attack from Mars, absolute staple. <laughs> it's a staple game. Awesome to have that in your collection. But that was number ten. Uh, and the next game that really caught, you know, captured my attention was one of these, uh, this was one of the early ones that I played that was emulated um, earlier on in the piece. And this was one that really caught me in terms of the soundtrack and the voiceovers and everything. And that of course is Star Trek, The Next Generation. Okay, let's get into some Star Trek guys. Oh, I just love this, I love the sound of the voice acting. And here we go. <laughs> Bonjour, mon capitaine. Q, what are you doing here? Let's play a little game. Q, we don't have time for your game. <laughs> uh, I just love that. Of course, this was a... Um, a wide table, a wide body, so it does play a little bit different being a little bit skinny, lost down the side, but not, not too much uh, impact. Um, I've got the table actually skewed in, but this might need a little bit of adjustment. Okay, <laughs> we're back. So I think we've got a, a few problems here guys with uh, this particular table because I think this was, an, this was an update. I think I've got a version 9 table running on VP10 and some of the ball captures don't seem to be working that well. But anyway, we'll play a little bit more and if the ball gets captured we'll uh, flick on to the next game and I'll have to sort this out. <laughs> so I something always something to do. Enterprise, the board have entered Federation space. Intercept immediately. Admiral Piaggi out. Course laid in, sir. Engage. <laughs> Engage. And something has definitely gone amiss, guys. <laughs> Searching for balls again. Yeah, so we got a bit of a challenge there. Never mind, I shall get that resolved. Let's get on to the next game. So the next one is Big Bang Bar. Fun game, so let's check it out. And guys, <laughs> again, this is such a cool theme. It's like a space, space bar. And uh, just the, the voice acting and stuff again, and it is just awesome. 
cool sound effects for DMD animation. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of an adult theme maybe. Maybe that was why uh, they thought it wouldn't go well as a general game. <laughs> Especially with that sound effect. But um, so, so good. Come on up and check us out. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Actually, I've had a uh, real run of interesting sound effects there. More so than normal in that particular mode. Such a fun game, one day, guys. Yeah, he here like a flash. Ah, down the guts. Have a nice <laughs> oh, that is so cool. so cool. Hear the knocker go smacking against the cabinet too. Mercy. I love this animation. <laughs> so good. All right, on to the next. <laughs> so cool. So number seven is one that is probably is on most people's list. And I'll tell you what, this has sort of dropped down my list if I think about top tens over the years because I played it so much. Um, it's sort of, yeah, it's fading on me a little bit. It's still an amazing game though, and it is Medieval Madness. Okay guys, Medieval Madness. I am the king of pain. My men will destroy you. <laughs> Oh, uh, that reminds me so much of like Monty Python and the uh, Holy Grail. It's a similar sort of voice acting. Quite a uh, fast, fast table this. This table's been um, redone so many times because it's such a favourite with everyone. That this version is um, pretty good. It's very fast. It could be pretty difficult because it's so quick. Unlike um, like Big Bang Bar, it was going pretty easy there, but got the trolls coming up here. Whoa, that's fast. <laughs> and of course, we need to get into the get into the castle on the in the middle of the trolls. Get that drawbridge down. Yeah, it wasn't very good, was it? I love it. And there's a couple of different different ROMs. There's like a profanity ROM, which uh, has a little bit more uh, profanity in the uh, in the words. 
damn, the drawbridge came down again. Now, they've done so much, so much with the animations and stuff. I mean, I know it looks sort of fairly basic, guys, but you've got to remember this stuff was sort of all 2D graphics, and um, it's really evolved over the, over the years to now include 3D modeling. And it's um, very, very cool. Here we go. We destroy the castle. Always a bit of a light show. <laughs> uh, and you get the rumble too. There's a force feedback happening in this cab. So the whole thing rumbles. It truly is a, it is a classic, that's for sure. Last ball. I must admit, guys, even while I'm playing it now, it's like, um, <laughs> like it goes through the random, <laughs> the cat. Even though um, I sort of said I got getting a bit sick of this game because I played it so much, I must admit, when, when I am playing it, <laughs> I'm still enjoying the hell out of it. It definitely deserves its place in the top 10. <laughs> yes. Some multi ball happening. Ah, come on. Whoop, that's one. It's hard to keep the multi balls going. Oh, there's the other one gone. Whew. Whew. Getting hot. So, yeah, guys, this <laughs> another explosion of the castle. It's just frantic. Ball nut down the guts. Wow. Whew. That was a lot of fun, though. All right. Do we get the match? No. <laughs> All right. Next one. The next one, number six. <laughs> I can't have a top ten without having this one in there. It is the Theater of Magic. Awesome game. So here we are guys, into the Theatre of Magic, <laughs> and you should, uh, you should be familiar with the, um, with the sounds and the voice effects because that's what's on the title screen. <laughs> it's six o'clock, right? Wow. Here is another ball. God, shoot again. And this is, uh, this is a version nine. I think it's not a version 10. I'm really hanging out for when they do a version 10 of this game though. I think that might just make it even, even better. Still a good version this, but I love how it does that little, uh, magnet save. But yeah, I, I think the, the real table of this would be um, sensational. I know, it's funny actually, John at John's Arcade, I think he had one at one point and he said he didn't like it, which I'm surprised. Um, I have seen, I haven't played a real one in real life, so obviously I don't, don't know, so I can't comment on that, but um, just watching people play it on videos, I mean, it just looks like an awesome light show. I think a real machine would be so cool. And I do think all the sounds and everything, guys, and this is just, just awesome. Just as sort of fun as, <laughs> as medieval uh, madness. Similar sort of frantic feel and cool sound effects and just everything happening, flashing and... Thank you for 
Got that ball locked. The first ball is locked. Need to get it into the trunk. Ah, oh, come on. Guys, hey, trunk escape. Shoot for the trunk. The trunk. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is cool. This still is cool. And again, you know, regardless that it's the name of the channel, guys, definitely deserves to be on the top ten for sure. And it still just blows me away when I'm looking at this now that you know all this is virtual and just how far we've come with being able to get a you know similar experience not the same as I keep saying but it's damn good when you got it set up on a uh, on a virtual machine oh, oh, wow that was a uh, pretty poor flipping <laughs> That's it. Of course, we can buy an extra ball to get in, but we're not going to do that because we're going to carry on. So let's do it. Next up, number five is another cool franchise, which uh, the original movie was awesome in the Indiana Jones. Right, let's get into it. That classic music. Wow, this table looks so nice. Just a sensational movie, Indiana Jones was. Uh, and of course, they got the follow up Indiana Jones um, that was released by Stern. But in my opinion, that's nowhere near as good as this. This is, this is just too good. Even though the, the newer one has a really cool multi ball feature that's what, eight, eight or ten balls or something ridiculous, or 12, isn't it? I don't know, something crazy. And I do have the virtual version of it. And it's it's fun, but it's just it's not this. <laughs> Monkey brains. <laughs> Doing the loops. Just all the sounds in that, like, it's all little bits out of the movies. I mean, out of the, out of the movie itself, you know, it's just so cool. Wow. <laughs> hey. Oh, got it back. <laughs> Plenty of monkey brains going on here. Getting a few bonus. Whoa, it's fast. Lock. <laughs> and we're out of that mode. Want to get it up here? It's so cool. That bit up there. It's got cool video video modes, which is just really really cool. So we got multi ball. Whoa! One jackpot to get another ball back. I get both of them back. Oi. For us frantic guys, this was really difficult. Let's keep those. Uh, Oi. Oh wow! This is really, really good fun. Again, this it's just I just really need to be playing this and just leave it on for 
good month and just play the hell out of it. Try and really go for good score and progression. I think maybe the, the kids would get into it a bit more too if I had it sort of just set up with something familiar because I think changing between tables when you're not used to pinball that's quite a hard thing guys you know it's a, it's a difficult thing to uh, get your head around the whole whole new table especially when you're not you know not, not used to pinball at all anyway that was awesome I love what they do at the end here let's get out of the buy-in <laughs> Such a classic for the ending. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, let's get on to the next one, guys. Now, number four might be a bit of a surprise to some of you because it is Fishtails. Great game, let's take a look. Right, Fishtails. Gone fishing. <laughs> Leave a message. Yeehaw! <laughs> This was, oh wow, that's what's so cool about this game. Unfortunately, this is also a, a VP9. I don't think it hasn't been released as a VP10. I'd love to see this as a VP10 release at some point. This version is still pretty good though. Just don't have some of the nice lighting effects and stuff that you get on VP10. Super Jets. Locked. Another lock ball into the uh, fishing reel. So yeah, so this game, absolutely love it. Um, but this is definitely another one which I think the real machine is so cool. And of course, this game has the flapping fish topper. So the big fish that sits on top of the top of the pinball machine that actually flaps and does crazy stuff when you get certain modes and that, remember how it triggers it but I remember the one that was in that pub had that and um, I thought that was pretty cool as well <laughs> oh wow <laughs> rock the boat mode Whew. can be uh, pretty difficult so that's the <laughs> that's the end of my game and i remember it being like that at the pub too like it was just killed all right let's move on and then there were three the final three what is number three we get away from the dmd machines for pimple number three and this one is called eight ball deluxe absolute love it let's take a look so here we have it a non dmd game Let's uh, chalk them up. So completely different style of game, guys. Absolutely different to those DMD tables. Where you've got to plan your shots a little bit more. Everything, everything moves a little slower, but it just gives you time to really think about placing these shots. And what I'm trying to do is get all these. Shoot I'm trying to get all those on the right hand side there. Make the three ball. Oh, and it's telling me, and geez, those drains are terrible. So yeah, I was trying to get all these targets, um, which will give, give the three ball. It gives me all, gives me all the balls. So that's the side pocket, and then I've got to get the eight through there, and I've got multiplies here, and and it's just yeah, the the, the, the layout and everything is. It's just so, so cool. Here we go. Oh shoot, and you do things like you, <laughs> you pull, pull shots off like that and it just makes this game so rewarding. So now I've got to get up to that eight ball there. And that wasn't it. <laughs> Try again. Too late. Too early. Whoa. Gets real risky when they jump off there. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, now that's the thing. 
this is definitely one of those uh, machines that you, you once you start playing a, a few games and you get into the rhythm of it you can just sit and play this for hours <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> Yes. Corner bucket. Nice shot. Nice one. Okay, and I've got to get the up into the where the eight ball was. There is a um, oh shoot. So up there was where I needed to get to next. Whew. So uh, let's check out the next one. And then there were two, two to go, guys. What is it going to be? Well. Number two is Firepower. Yeah, absolute great game, so let's take another look. Here we have it, guys. Firepower. Needs no introduction, right? Hey! <laughs> ah, just love that sound. Listen to it. This is the Defender sounds. And you know, you guys, that you've watched the channel, you know I love Defender. It's the same soundboard that they used. Well, it's at least a very similar soundboard. I don't know if it's the exact same soundboard. But again, this is just, oh. You know, with all the targets and just the way you've got to you change the lanes up there to, get to uh, change the lights. So much more control in what you're doing instead of just making a ramp shot or you know, just trying to hit a uh, a target on the DMD ones. It's just I don't know. I mean, of course, <laughs> I've been loving the DMD machines as well, of course. But this is just a different experience. You know, and it's the same with the, even the older. Uh, pinball machines which initially you can sort of think it may seem like really dull because they're so slow and don't have much going on but if you really take your time with them you realize that actually um, they can be a lot of fun a lot of skill Ball on it. it was the first one with multi ball, and uh, you've got to get those locks. There's one one I just went into, but it wasn't actually lit, not ready. And it's sort of got that that advancing music in the background, a lot like Space Invaders, you know. So <laughs> that is cool. And guys, now we are up to number one. What is my favorite pinball machine? What is it, do you think? What is it? What machine haven't we talked about? Well, it is a big classic. It's a big name DMD game. It's Tales of the Arabian Nights. But anyway, guys, let's take a look at this absolute classic. And here it is, guys. You can see Grand Champion is me. It was 20 odd million. <laughs> Got all the high scores here. This is the, a favorite game. And just check out the artwork on this, guys. It's absolutely sensational this game is oh, i'd love to be able to play this in on a real machine i was going to say in real life <laughs> well, i am in real life but uh yeah i'd love to be able to play this on the real machine let's um let's get started now i've got to get a skill shot here now i might not be able to do oh yep just got it it's a little bit difficult because i've still got a problem with my plunger of course which still needs to be resolved Wow, not a, not a great start. <laughs> okay, middle one. Yeah. Works sometimes. Genie. 
and again guys just the sound effects the lighting nice little of the star capture it's so so cool Multi ball, we've got to hit two is locked. Hit the genie. Come on, we can get it. Oh, I've got in the way. Here we go. Yeah. Lost one boy. Wow. They both went into the capture. Oh. <laughs> I'm sweating here, guys. Seriously sweating. Get the lamp going. <laughs> oh wow. They're <laughs> yeah, laughing at me. <laughs> Collect a jewel, three tiger loops. I'll go for the jewels. Six jewels to collect to rescue the princess. And that's the thing the progression in this game and the rule set is deep. And, um, and that's the thing you don't get from, you know, Pimple FX2. Wow. <laughs> Just enjoy that so much. Right to the end. Ah. Couldn't make it. A damn plunger. A gift from me to you. Quiet guys, because I'm concentrating. <laughs> this genie is powerful. The tail of Shahrazad. Whew! Gold symbols. Ah! Damn! Lost it down the side. Wow. <laughs> Let's get a free game? No. Uh, and just the music and everything here at the end, guys. It's just, that is so much fun. That is definitely worthy of being number one. <laughs> oh, I love this music. 
this one with everything flashing and everything, it's just so like, you know, this is the end of the game, guys. And it's like, you know, come on, go again. <laughs> oh, so good. All right, guys, that's it, the top 10. And there you have it, guys, that's it. And uh, what did you think of my top 10? Do you agree on some of those? Surely you must do. There's some classics in there. I know, I know there are some that, You'll, there'll be some favourites of yours that aren't that list. But as I said, that's my list based on my weird and strange path to uh, to love and pinball. And um, I'm still enjoying it every single day that I play it on this thing. It's just so much fun. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this session and look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and a like and all that good stuff. Look after yourself. Play your games. No, really look after yourself. I do mean it. And <laughs> play your games. And uh, looking forward to coming back to the next video. Until then, guys, you know it. Ciao for now.